Hey everybody, welcome back to Maya Mondays. So today what I'm going to be doing is talking to you about the different subscription plans that we offer for Maya. I was visiting a client recently and a couple of the artists didn't realize that we offered a desktop subscription which was newly introduced and what this does is it allows you to rent Maya either based on a month, a quarter, or an annual contract. Um, obviously as you go through, uh, through the different periods the price goes down. So monthly is 185 annually ends up being about 140 bucks a month, 150 bucks a month. So the price gets pretty cheap actually per month to use Maya. So with desktop subscription, the way it works is essentially the software lives on your machine and you have a login that's tied to your name and to your Autodesk account. You log in, it allows you to start using the software. You don't have to be on the internet every day. Um, the login lasts about 14 days. If you wanted to run the software on another machine, you can basically um, install the software on that other machine and then log into it. It'll log you out of the other machine. So you can run it on multiple machines with the desktop subscription. It's just tied to your login. Therefore, whatever machine you currently log into, that's going to be the active machine that can run Maya. Desktop subscription will give you, um, obviously, the most current version of the software, including the extensions. It gives you basic level internet support, and it gives you some Autodesk 360 cloud credit, so it allows you to store your data on the cloud. If you go with a maintenance subscription, this would be the traditional upgrade renewal process if you had a perpetual license of Maya. So with maintenance subscription, you own a cut of Maya, you pay your contract for the year, and you get all the upgrades for that year, so all the extension releases and things like that. You also get basic level support, the ability to run previous versions of Maya, and you get 360 cloud credits also. So it's kind of based on what you're trying to do. The other thing that's kind of interesting about maintenance subscription is you can check a license out for home use. So if you've got an employer that has a bunch of licenses of Maya, there's a good chance that you could actually be checking one of those licenses out to take home and use during, um, during the night or over the weekend or something like that. So that's it in a nutshell. We've got two different plans. We've got the desktop subscription plan that allows you to choose how much you're buying monthly, quarterly, or annually. And we have a maintenance subscription plan that, again, would be for your perpetual license of Maya, sort of the traditional offering that we had at Autodesk. So hopefully that makes sense to you guys. And if you've been sitting on the fence about trying to get a hold of a cut of Maya, well, it makes it really easy now with a $150 a month plan um, if you sign up for the year. The other thing that's worth mentioning about the desktop plan is it's really cool is if you've got a job and you need to ramp up 10 people and you know the job's only going to last a few months, just rent it for those few months and then as soon as it's done, boom, your software goes away. You don't have to worry about carrying the massive cost of all those licenses for all the other months that they're just sitting idle. So we're trying to open it up, make it more flexible for, uh, for people to get their hands on, on Maya. Cheers. Thanks a lot for watching.